you see this one is the positive so red will be connected to the positive and the negative you see it's glowing pretty good no flickering nothing at all works really nice you see this is my drill battery 48 volts lithium ion battery and this is the charger okay so yeah we'll keep it over here like this and connect the charger with a pin one wire connected now the other one other one also connected now when it starts working you will see here are the light glowing indicating that the charger has started receiving power from the inverter okay you see it has started running and the battery has started charging well guys here as you can see that this is the circuit and this is the transformer and this is the adapter for this dremel tool okay my dremel machine okay it is uh, like 18,000 rpm adjustable so yeah at present it is in the off mode so let's connect wires negative has been connected <laughs> you see it has started working well guys here as you can see that i've placed a 143 nanofarad capacitor to improve the power factor you see it is working hi guys you are watching channel mr electron and today in this video i'm going to make a powerful inverter with these two power transistors cdc 1351 okay and this is the heat sink that i'm going to use for the job So here as you can see that I have separated the single piece into two although the piece are not equal but still this small piece is perfectly covering this power transistor completely okay not a single portion is going to remain outside of the heat sink area so yeah even if it is not evenly cut it is still going to work just fine. Well guys, I got this product from Banggood, uh, it is very useful, you can see that it has uh, like 4 arms for holding the PCBs and link for this will be provided in the description, it is a high quality product, very useful PCB holder. And now it's time to do the connections. So guys for that these are the half watt 1 kilo ohm resistors and I'm going to use 2 of these for this project. 
so guys here as you can see that I'm connecting the resistor to the base terminal of this 1351 power transistor and now I'm going to connect another resistor to the base terminal of the second power transistor okay so that also done now guys these two green wires that you see are for connecting to the collector terminal of the power transistors now guys the middle terminals that you see this one this one is the middle terminal of this transistor and this one is the middle terminal of this transistor these two terminals are the positive collector terminals okay to which these two wires will be connected now guys I should tell you that this circuit is very important because this is the basic inverter circuit and I'm going to use this to make a 1000 watts inverter in one of my upcoming videos yeah and the collector also done for both the transistors now comes the resistor one terminal of the resistor has been connected to the base and the other will be connected to the collector terminal to which the green wire has been connected okay yeah done this resistor has been connected now the remaining resistor yeah both of them have been connected now and guys now comes the emitter terminal the last one here and the last one here these two will be shorted together with one single wire which I usually prefer to be black which indicates negative okay so let's do that yeah one terminal done So guys this is a 12 volts to 220 volts old computer UPS transformer that I'm going to use for this project okay it's look very heavy although the circuit is very small but I have this transformer as the center tap transformer which is applicable for this project these uh, these wires thick wires indicate that this is the 12 volts high current input side so uh, this is going to be the 12 volt side and these thin wires indicate the 220 volt side now out of these six wires only two of them are needed so how we are going to shortlist those is with the help of this resistance check so the final wires with highest possible resistance is the black and the blue wire 12 ohms almost so uh, these four wires will not be used so let's tape them together so that we can separate them and guys you also need to cut the wires from here because they might cause short circuit here what you see is an LED bulb well uh, yeah you see it's 5 watts Bajaj bulb so I'm going to power it up with this circuit blue and black wire which are the high voltage output side will be connected over here like this and here is the circuit so the two green wires that you see okay these two green wires will be connected to the black and blue wires here and this red wire with an additional point over here is the center tap so this will not be connected right now let's connect one wire to the black you can connect it anyways like this one to this or that one to that it doesn't matter and yeah wait yeah that is also connected now in total we have two wires left out one from the circuit the emitter wire final emitter wire and one the center tap so to the center tap positive supply will be given and to the emitter negative black wire negative supply will be given and to power it up obviously we are going to use this 12 volts battery which is from an old a UPS 12 volt 7 h and uh, I restored it in my previous video it was lying around for many months and I restored it with the help of a laptop charger if you want to watch the video link will be in the description so let's connect you see this one is the positive so red will be connected to the positive and the negative and if the wirings are all perfect it should glow you see it's glowing pretty good no flickering nothing at all works really nice simple circuit for charging mobile phones and you're uh, running your CFLs or LED bulbs and guys you can even charge your cordless drill batteries with it you see this is my drill battery 48 volts lithium ion battery and this is the charger okay so yeah we'll keep it over here like this and connect the charger with a pin one wire connected now the other one other one also connected now when it starts working you will see here are the light glowing indicating that the charger has started receiving power from the inverter okay you see 
it has started running and the battery has started charging well guys here as you can see that this is the circuit and this is the transformer and this is the adapter for this Dremel tool okay my Dremel machine okay it is uh, like 18,000 rpm adjustable so yeah at present it is in the off mode so let's connect the wires negative has been connected <laughs> you see it has started working well guys here as you can see that I've placed a hundred and forty three nano farad capacitor to improve the power factor you see it is working 